a special surprise guest made an appearance during the couple's <laughs> retreat. Let's take a look at that. Were you guys having a serious conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. You know, this, this is all great and everything, okay? But the shoes. I love, I love the shirt. You guys are cold conspiracy, get a flea, <laughs> and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I love seeing Kristen's take on me, and it's just hilarious, and I'm really liking the side of Kristen that I'm seeing right now. All right, I need y'all to give me the backstory on this. Alexis, how did this even, where did this come from? So me and Kristen are pranksters, and we've been okay. wanting to prank the entire season. Okay. The shirt gate was one, and we're like, so oh, we need to read it. We need to read it. Y'all didn't read the room. We hoped for this reaction that he gave us, but it was really just funny. That was the most that he was attracted to her. There's too much to unpack there. <laughs> it was. He loves himself. I mean, that's right. <laughs> it, it was funny, and then it got weird really quick, and we we're like, oh, you're way too aroused for us. Oh my God. <laughs> it was just, it was weird. Were you afraid of how Mitch would react? There was one moment for sure when he was in the kitchen, kind of in the corner, and I wasn't uh -huh. quite sure, but I was just like, he loves it. Keep going. Like, we don't care what Mitch thinks. Keep going. <laughs> she did a beautiful job of being like, baby, if I go too far, exactly. stop me. Yeah. She kept checking in with him, and he was laughing, and then she'd keep going. Baby, stop me if I'm going too far. So she it did actually it. brought him closer. It really yeah. did, yeah. You know, Kristen has been through a whole yes. lot with Mitch, mm -hmm. and she has stuck in there. Like, I am astounded. What do you attribute her perseverance to? She's a wife. She is full on a wife. That woman embodies what it means to show up for your person and be a wife and fight for them and get to know them. Yes, she wanted a husband who was going to check all the boxes, but if in the event that they, he didn't, she was still going to be a wife. To fight, I think yeah. it was more so tells a lot about Kristen rather than Mitch. So we talked about some of the lows during the retreat, but what are some of the fun things or interesting things that you may have learned about some of the other couples or your spouses? Besides the vibrator <laughs> situation? Oh, you, oh, that was hilarious. I don't know if he doesn't know how to work the remote or he didn't want to work the remote. And I'm trying to tell Nate, like, turn it off, turn it off, please. You OK? <laughs> I'm getting lit up. Oh, my god. That was real kinky. I yeah. was just like, oh, that's what type of time y'all <laughs> Can I tell you, that oh was one of the funniest that things. That was hilarious. When they're sitting at this table, and you all call, you called it yeah. immediately. You were like, what y'all what doing? <laughs> Did you hear the vibration? No, we couldn't. You couldn't? We couldn't. Yeah, it was quiet. OK, so we already knew those Stasha and Nate was getting. We didn't know. We heard stories. Okay. But this is the first time we saw it with this our own the... eyes. Ah, yeah. OK. I want to end it with you, Justin. Do you have sure. any advice how to navigate those highs and lows of marriage? Yeah, so we received a, um, a beautiful wedding card from one of our guests, and they said the highs and lows are really the, the best part of your marriage. The lows are what build that foundation, and they build that stable ground to stand on, and you can have a different reference point of like, look, this sucks, but we were able to get through this in the past, we can do it again. You start to develop some tools for your toolbox. So, I mean, adversity can be a good thing and it can really bring you guys closer together if both parties are open to it, I'll say that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for sharing with us the bits that you do. <laughs>